We are in Vong Dien, Lao. We're Cindy and Eddie, and this is Squeeze the Day. In our last video, we arrived here, but we have yet to check this place out, and we're going to take you along with us and see as much of it as we can see. There is a lot to do here. Let's get started. After we arrived to Long Vian by train, we took a tuk-tuk to get into town. We didn't really know what to expect, but we were really excited to be here. We've actually seen a couple of tourists floating around. We're just excited to be here ourselves because the views that we've seen so far are amazing and we're going to keep talking about how amazing they are. It's going to be fun to explore here. Look at all these restaurants. The Tuk Tuk took us right into the center of town, giving us a short walk to get to our hotel and a little glimpse of what to expect while we're here. There are a ton of tours available, including hot air balloon services. Welcome to our home for this video. As Cindy was checking us in, I decided to take a quick look around. After an easy check-in procedure, we went to our room, dropped our luggage, and got ready to go out and enjoy the rest of the night. We are heading down to get closer to the river and check it out. And that sun is looking amazing. And then these guys are coming off with the boats and the tourists. Here's some more tourists that were canoeing down the river, apparently. Look at those mountains. A lot of people are coming off the river right now because it is getting close to sunset. However, wow, we did not expect this. Since we're here at a busy tourist location, let's talk about some of the activities that they have available according to the signs that are posted throughout town. Balloon, hang glider, hang glider, balloon. This town has got so much to do here. You can do a lot of different things. Hot air balloons, kayaks, take a tour out to an elephant sanctuary or a cave. Feel free to take your time and explore the area if you are here. We have something specific in mind that we want to go do. We'll talk about that in a couple of minutes. But first, let's enjoy a couple of sunsets that we caught while we were here. The next morning is going to be busy, so we're going to start the day off with a healthy breakfast. We have had a great weather. It's been anywhere between 70s to 80s. It does get a little bit cooler at night, so, you know, use a blanket. But other than that as we're walking around throughout the day perfect we're in the 70s today and we expect it's going to continue to be amazing weather this is the sign that we're following and this is telling us to turn here to get to the chang cave which is a very popular tourist destination through here keep going straight and continue on down this way i will tell you we are loving the surrounding mountains Continue past the resort. We're looking for the bridge over there. It's 5,000 per person. We're paying 10,000 to get in there. And then there's going to be a bridge up here that we'll cross. We're gonna find out along the way as we go, so you'll find out with us. If you're renting a motor scooter or if you're driving to get here, feel free to do that. They'll charge you per person. We tend to walk. A lot of places once again budget and this town is actually really small so it's easy to walk through it wasn't very far at all no we were walking for maybe five minutes tops from yeah. our hostel this is the parking area i do see a sign way over there so that's the direction we're headed they do have a pedestrian bridge but this is not the orange bridge we've been looking for so we're curious about where that is don't take a motorcycle through the bridge I think that's the orange bridge. Oh my gosh. Looks like it has fallen down, which is unfortunate. Historically, this was very beautiful. They do have some vendors that are right here. So it looks like you can grab yourself a quick snack or drink. Sticky rice, roasted corn, roasted bananas, sweet potatoes. They also have fresh fruits drinks all of these come with a little seasoning pack and that's gonna make the flavor pop 
Well, that was very interesting to walk through there. I'm not sure how long of a hike this is. This is a great spot to just sit and relax and enjoy the river a little bit. I love this little terrace that we're walking through. It looks like these are fruit vines that are overhead. We're gonna walk around here a little bit. This place is really cute. To actually go into the cave, it's 15,000 kip, which is still a good price. To get into this cave so far, we've paid 20,000 kip. That's just a little bit more than a dollar per person. Look at that. Wow, check out these limestone cliffs. Admittedly, I will tell you that this is a little bit of a hike and it's kind of exhausting, but that view is definitely worth it. And then we get to the top. This is what you see. That's a good view. inside. This structure looks like it's been here forever. It's really dark really fast. We'll try really hard to get as much footage as we can, but it does get dark pretty quick. Usually in America, you have to do a guided tour when you go into a place like this. But here, you just can walk freely. It's pretty straightforward. You think you can turn right or left? And nope, you have to go one way. They've pretty much set up a really good path that's easy to follow. The end of this portion of the cave exits into a great view, but let's go back inside to see some more. That's the exit. This we're going to continue down through the rest of the cave. Let me show you the way. They did a really good job making this easy to walk through. This is unreal. Wow, Eddie. I haven't heard any bats, and I'm so surprised at that, aren't you, Eddie? Yep. We've been in a lot of caves, and this one just looks like it's for the pedestrians only. Stalactite, stalagmite. Looks as if we're coming to the end because they stopped lighting everything after this. So this is the stop. We showed you as much of this cave as we can with the lighting that we have available. We hope you enjoyed it, but there is so much more to show you in this town, so we're gonna keep going. Let's go. Bye, cave. Seating picnic, bring some food or get some of the food from over there, sit here and eat it. That's actually a good idea. When you don't have me babbling in the background, you can have the babbling brook in the background. Wow. Look how gorgeous that water is. The former and once glorious Orange Bridge. There's food all over the place. We just want to go to this place because we haven't been there yet. This is going to be a enjoy it with us experience. It looks like they're getting ready to build another bridge over here. Oh yeah. That will lead us up to the main road eventually. And there's two roads up here. So if we go straight, it'll take us up to the main road, but we're gonna turn left because that is the other road that runs through town. We're gonna turn left here. However, if you are driving, please stop. Do not turn left. We're walking, so we're turning left. Right here, we're turning left to go down to this other bridge. This is an interesting bridge. Whether you're standing on the bridge looking downriver or upriver, there is a lot to see. As you're walking along, there are boards missing. So you wouldn't want to step in one of those holes and fall through. And yes, there are motorcycles that come through on here as well. So watch out for them.
It might not look like much, but you really cannot beat those views. And just so you know, we're not going to be taking this path today, but up here, there's a trail that'll take you into the mountains a little bit so you can get a great view. Do not do it at sunset because it's hard to return at night. Rent yourself a doom buggy. Doesn't that look fun? So it was a little bit of a walk. It took us about 15 minutes to get out here. Google Maps has some great reviews, so we're looking forward to trying something here. They give you a couple of choices for seating. We walked down here across the bridge and we went to visit the caves over here. We returned up this way, across the bridge, went around this way to come up in this direction and we're over here somewhere. Mint and lemon drinks. This is the larb with steamed rice and the chicken salad. Steam rice. We are definitely stuffed now and we're gonna head back into town. It is still hot out, still beautiful, still a lovely day to go for a Thank you for visiting. Oh yeah, thank <laughs> you so much. What's your name? My name is Ken. I'm sorry? Ken. Ken? Yes, Mahala. Ah, I'm Eddie, this is Cindy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome. You're the owner? Yes, I'm the owner. He is the owner, food was good, and it's a great location, so. Thank you, that's like my wife. This is his wife. Thank you very much for your stay. Stop by here. Oh yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having us. It was, yeah. it was good. We liked it. He's saying that there's a path that you can actually see the mountain from. So maybe yeah, we'll yeah. do that first. Yeah. How long does it take? Uh, I have a two hectare. You can walk around about 10 minutes. Okay. Oh, wow. really nice. I guess we're going to do that first. Let's go and take a look. What a pleasant surprise. These are the bungalows. Actually, those are really nice bungalows. I wonder if they're all like that. But they do have bungalows here. That's something else that they do. These are gorgeous we have permission to explore a little bit look at this guy if it looks like a duck yeah go Acts ahead like a duck must be a duck oh wow look how it just opens up to the mountain thank you so much for allowing us to check that out now we've got to get on the road because we've got a long walk all of 15 minutes which if you know us you know that 15 minutes is not a long walk This road actually doesn't go directly across the bridge. There isn't a bridge right here. You have to go very far north, like follow the road up this way in order to get across the river. So bikes will go this way in order to cross the bridge that we crossed to get over here. Where you see the v-town sign that's going to end up being walking street however there's plenty of places to shop and eat and sleep they have hotels they have a lot of stuff going on realistically during the day it doesn't look like there's anything going on and during the day there's really not a lot of people are out there getting the balloon rides and the parasail rides and Primary example right here, kayaks and tubing and all kinds of fun things. That's what Walking Street looks like during the day. Now, let's show you what it looks like at night. But first, we're going to grab some food. And we found a great place that's brand new in town, Lime Lounge. Just opened up in January. Might be a place for you to look if you're interested in this area too. That was a really interesting place to go and get some food. Quick bite to eat. We're going to head down towards the walking street now so we can show you what that looks like. Unfortunately, we have to cut out the audio from walking street because they had some music playing at the time. We do think it's a great place to get the things you might be interested in, souvenirs, food, and maybe a little bit of shopping. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you. And stay tuned as we continue to tour around Laos and take you along with us. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so that you can continue to follow along with us as we continue on this adventure. And as always, squeeze the day and be well.